We're recording. Yep. <laughs> many, many years since it was first filmed, teased, hinted at, and teased again, Pegs and Rundy 2 is finally done. So much time went into this weird sequel to an obscure joke video from the earliest era of Death Eggs, back when we were all still in high school. And now, I can finally show you how it all happened. Let's go back in time! This is the behind the scenes! Religion! <laughs> Do they see you back there? Is that, is that Batman? Amen. This is the This is the behind the scenes for Pegs and Rundy 2. Put your seatbelt on! Shut up! So I haven't talked to you in a while, Randy. Nah! <laughs> You're wasting my time! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ha 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 uh, Randy. Hey, Randy! What? Go. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> Lucy in the sky with diamonds. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> well, mine telling is fuck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, um, okay, so now we gotta do that the same thing with Pags? Yep. Remember, Pags, mine telling is where we are and why we're here. That's not my line. <laughs> we're gonna start the shot, so get down. <laughs> get down! <laughs> Alright, we're starting take two. Everybody shut up, I'm Randy. <laughs> <laughs> But you guys move out of the way, I'm gonna pan the camera down. <laughs> Alright. Oh, fuck. I heard some weird noises from behind the pavilion. Good to see you, Pan. Can you see me? Are you in one of those fucking holes? <laughs> <laughs> there was a, something originally planned for the first Pegs and Rundy, but I caught it and now it's coming back. Oh, what the fuck are these? These nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so welcome back to Behind the Scenes of Pegs and Rundy 2. Hello! Hey! We're going into the spooky woods to get great. Dog hut! These dogs. We're gonna be finding the rock. Look at the rock, I'm gonna pull it with this chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we so all yeah. gotta be behind us, like kinda get the woods, and then we turn each other, like do like the nod, and then we that's just it, walk that's in. That's exactly what I was thinking. Of. Okay, we'll do that. Like we we walk into the shot, like nod at each other, and then walk in. Uh, Lucas like, stays standing in the same place. Here. You guys can actually come on either side of me. <laughs> Disappear behind the bushes as well. So complete the shot. God damn it, Pags. Get a mosquito. <laughs> Even if it got a And read this. Fucking stick. Crab! Here's the pizza for you and me. The crusty crab pizza! Here's the pizza for you and me! <laughs> and then yeah. you'll add in like a generic, like ringing telephone kind of thing. Yeah. 
So like, I don't know, masturbate in the sink or something, and then you get phone calls. Oh wait, <laughs> is your cord showing? So you want a pizza? What do I do? You come in later then. Uh, be careful with your arm though as well. Randy, what the hell are you yelling at? I'm trying to sell a goddamn pizza! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm done, I quit. Bonus thrown down, walking away. You can take my house, I don't want it anymore. Yeah. Walk that way, what? Yeah. It's a little ironic thing, considering it's my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why you're probably like, what? Yeah. Oh my god, what is that? Yeah. Okay, I'm done, I quit. You can take my house all you want. I don't care anymore. What? I just made up my own line right there. That's fine, that's fine. Try to get try to get try to get. Venus, 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 Venus. Big fun Venus. One, two, three. But the story doesn't end there. This wasn't the first time that we filmed Pigs and Rundy 2. Let's go back even further to 2015 to see the original version of the video. Free food. All right, all right. Now just, <laughs> let's just walk away. <laughs> Here he comes. We don't know why he ran over there. Over there. Hi, welcome back. Fridge. <laughs> Hi Joey. Thanks. Like how low how low is Rundy? Like okay. maybe about half your height. Oh my god. Wait, like that? Just the two of you? <laughs> oh damn. Fuck yes. <laughs> Let's look at it. Looks like somebody was in an accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, he's moving. He's moving. Oh, what's he gonna oh. do? Is he gonna do it again? We may never know. I just want to see him crash, to be honest. That'd be so freaking hilarious. Is he parking? <laughs> uh, so this would be like... Hey, Lucas. I found an Easter egg. Easter egg. Easter egg, Easter egg. I found an Easter egg. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, he's in the position. I don't know. I gotta get the shot before those kids get him. Yes! <laughs> yes! Put that one there you go. Oh, yes! Oh no. <laughs> yeah! That looks, probably looks a little awkward. <laughs> what did I do if I was just like, oh, yes! <laughs> oh, yeah! And slowly turn it down. Like this is gonna like play as part of the intro in sync with the song. Alright. <laughs> Spot on! We should make a pyramid. Yeah. Who's on top? I'm on top. Did you? You're on top. Top. Yeah. Ready? Go. Go. Oh God. And one. And two. And one. And two. And one. And two, and <laughs> Dinger <laughs> is slipping. That's gonna be like facing up at us as we're like looking down the hill. This is Christmas music? Yep. Oh, that car. Look at that. That's a view. That is a <laughs>
Alright, that was good. Found him. Oh my god, it's a camera! The fuck, Lucas? No. Lucas! Cars bouncing up and down! What the hell is going on back there? I don't even think I can get that. What if I Lucas is like humping the back? Oh my god. Hey, Randy's pushing the car now. <laughs> He's actually <laughs> pushing the car because it's a neutral. We're just like, pretend like we're talking about this thing. What yeah. is this? This thing is. It's weird. It is weird. It's a my dick. It's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird, yeah. Is this the one that we're in the Sure. Yeah, let's crash. Wait, let's crash. Three, two, one. Alright, let's talk about it again. Yeah. Yeah. So, dicks. A little bit. You always say dicks when you don't know what to talk about. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, we're re-recording the opening scene in a spookier place than it was last time. Yeah. I mean... Not in front of my house. <laughs> yeah. The middle of the spooky woods versus the front of Randy's house. <laughs> which is spookier. I thought you were going to hit the car. Oh, no. I did that last time. Yeah, not with my car. <laughs> the script said to walk, so I walked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, meal cow. Meal cow. Get some up there. Meal cow, some up there. Let's get a shot of that. Get a shot of that. Oh, oh. Yeah, we got the pizza guy over here. He's actually making pizza. Hello, welcome to Generic Pizza Shop. How may I take your order? Hello, welcome to Generic Pizza Shop. How may I help you today? Oh, uh, please repeat that. Uh, can you repeat that? We don't serve pizza. Randy, what the hell are you yelling at? I'm trying to sell a goddamn pizza! Hey, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's very good. I like it. <laughs> Alright, let's bring things back to the present, or I guess the present as of recording this video, 2024! So there was a lot of cool stuff that came out of the making of Pigs and Ready 2. I had a lot of fun making it, I hope you had fun watching it, but I think the first main question is, why does this take so long? It's just, I didn't have the editing resources to complete the vision that I wanted for this video. You know, the big focus that we had going into this was the animated characters mixing with real life, with shadows and like interacting sometimes with people and stuff like that. And the editing workflow I had at that time was not capable of that kind of thing. Like I was using Sony Vegas, what, 14 or something like that. It's not really capable of doing any of that kind of thing. I also had a bit of After Effects on the side, but in order to get those two to work together and animate stuff in After Effects and move it over to Vegas to put it all together, I had to like generate these massive files with transparent backgrounds that I had to move back and forth and like animate in the characters. I didn't really know what I was doing, so I had to like generate out separate frames for everything that they were doing, like all the face shapes they can have. It just wasn't working at a big scale, and it took ages to get even a single scene done. I just didn't have the motivation to really work on it in the meantime. But the video did come out, so I fixed those problems. And that all started a few months ago now. A bunch of us guys got together and recorded some more Dark Souls. After the end of the first session we did, I took the footage, I went to go drag and drop it into Vegas, 
And I got this error saying it doesn't understand what MP4 files are anymore. And I'm like, that's it. That's the last straw. I'm fucking done with Vegas. So I'm like, that's it. You know, I remember Justin at one point mentioning the software called DaVinci Resolve that he was actually using at one point for a, a channel he was running. So I went and looked it up. It's free software, so I figure I'll give it a look. There's some nice tutorials on their site. And I ended up learning that whole thing. And it is so much better than Vegas. I'm never going back, I swear to God. So I ended up redoing all the scenes from scratch in Resolve. The script is almost completely unaltered from how we wrote it in 2015. This vi video to me feels like a time capsule of that era, of that era of our humor. And most of the gags in the video too are stuff that actually happened between our friend group. Like we were all in marching band together, weird shit happens in marching band, so a lot of those jokes that happen ended up in Pegs and Rundy 1 and 2. This thing has been in the background of our lives for a very long time. Randy's original pose, that was a reference to Pegs and Rundy 2, or rather a reference to weird shit that happens that we reference in Pegs and Rundy 2. There's another cool one I have. Actually, you know what? Come on, follow me, follow me, let's go. It's really, it's nestled in here. This is Dead Pegs the Game. This is a weird little thing that I made because I was bored one day, I think in 2017. This has been on the game shelf in the background of Dead Pegs videos since then. I don't know if you can see it anywhere. But the thing is, if you flip it over on the back, what the fuck is that? Who's that? That's a shot from Pegs Burning 2. It's been here on our shelf in the background of many videos for a long time. I just thought that was cool. I don't know. Who the fuck are you? Animating these characters too is really cool. I ended up putting together these macros for these characters. So each of them are kind of like posable. And it made it so much easier for like, especially lip syncing, instead of the really convoluted stuff I had to do previously. <laughs> One scene we did actually cut from the video that was in the script, kind of, was this rapper called Too Many Chains. He's trying to spit bars, but everything he says gets like a worse and worse reception. We just had the vague idea in the script, but we never fleshed it out. But I did throw a little reference in one scene when Larry walks up. He's got too many chains on his shirt. <laughs> Cause I, I threw a design together and just put tons of chains on him. All right, I got these 3D environments. I can just kind of float around here. I got a light. I can make lights in here. I can position the characters however I want in 3D space. I couldn't do this shit before. Yeah, the scenes that use 3D tracking are pretty cool too. You can see the, the tree over here. You can see the sign that Locust is hanging off of. Funny Easter egg. Oh, Easter egg. You get dots so you can see where, kind of like where the church is, where the roof of the church is, where the wall of the church is. So that when the characters cast shadows, the characters cast shadows onto these guys, these planes, and then I can take that shadow off of the plane and put it into the actual scene. This is a scene with Arnold, the little shots that pop up showing like animated Arnold's head over top of like actual Arnold movie scenes. The full versions of them are really kind of cursed, kind of great. If this dude walks up to you in like a bank, I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> now the Lint Roller Man scene actually has a bit of story behind it, because that background that they're all standing on, this is actually the rooftop of one of the buildings, one of the dorm buildings at RIT, which is where I went to college. Joey went to college, LaFerge, Justin, <laughs> Steven. This is actually taken a few days after we first got there our freshman year. At the time, like, I just thought about it. It's like, oh, this would be perfect for that one scene in Pegs Rundy 2, because to have them, like, in the script, they're fighting on a rooftop. And a similar kind of thing happened. A few months ago, I was in Target, and I was going, like, looking for some cleaning stuff. I turned the corner, and behold, an aisle full of lint rollers. It was perfect. I was like, oh my God, I'm never gonna get this opportunity again. So I'm sorry, it's not actually a Dollar General <laughs> that he runs into, it's actually a Target. Yeah, this whole lint roller man scene was really intense to, uh, to edit. The goons are still kind of bouncing up and down. That was all just done in a 3D space with the camera kind of whipping around him. A lot of it's just the way the camera moves to make it look like he's going really fast, but he's really just kind of like slowly moving towards them, and the camera's I'm just kind of flying all over the place.
but I just had to do a bit of like color work to it to make it look like it's at night time. And if you want to see how that Larry scene was done, where there's like a hundred hippos running, well there actually were a hundred. It was just started with one little hippo, and then he was duplicated. So we got a row of ten hippos, all slightly offset from each other, and then they're duplicated again. So now we have an army of a hundred hippos, and then I just seated Larry on the front one, the original hippo that all these things were duplicated from because that's the one that doesn't sway back and forth. The transitions between scenes and that portal effect they were intended to be basically the same thing. They all kind of came, that, that was all inspired by this background that I had downloaded years ago, like when I was making the original version of the video. But I also wanted to add in that kind of like red and blue light thing that we got going on, like to represent Pegs and Rundy. There's kind of like a red light at the top, like above everything, a blue light below everything. Because I was trying to make it so the top half of it is like red and the bottom half is blue, which you can kind of see in the portal effect. It comes off better there. But here, the red and the blue lights just kind of mix, and it just... The squares kind of look purple. It's like, yeah, it's close enough. But they're all encased in a giant sphere that is that original blue background that I was going to use for those scenes. The scene in the beginning where I'm kind of laying on the ground, how am I tracking pegs into that shot? Because I'm just looking straight up at the sky, there's nothing to latch onto to figure out what the camera movement is. I realized that problem too. <laughs> so what I did was I tracked the first half of the shot to the original footage where you can still see the grass and the building in the distance. But for the second half where all you can see is the sky, I ended up replicating that camera movement. I 3D tracked that, grabbed the keyframes from that, and basically, like, it goes from these are the keyframes from tracking the original footage to these are the keyframes from tracking the new footage, where I'm replicating that. So yeah, hope you had a good time watching the video. I had a really good time making it. I'm glad this is finally done after nearly a decade of being in the back of my head, being like, I gotta finish this on time. Before I die, I have to finish Pegs Rundy 2. But yeah, thanks for checking this out, and I will see you again for Pegs and Rundy 3 coming 2039. <laughs> I'm kidding, please. That was a joke. That was a joke. Don't. <laughs>